Hey girls, welcome back to Heather Really Hearts. Um, today I'm starting a new series and it's full face of first impressions for under 50. So today here's my total and it was with a discount, but this is BH Cosmetics as you can tell from the title and it always, um, they always offer a discount. So I was able to get, I believe, a full face Okay, that's better. Um, with a brush set. So we're just going to get right into it. This is all first impressions. Um, I have finger swatched some of the stuff, and I'll let you know what, what I have done. I don't have a primer. Mm. So I'm going to go right into the liquid foundation. This is... It's just called liquid foundation. And it was $6.99. And I got a 20% off coupon. Okay, so I'm going to go into this. It just says, it doesn't say anything about it. It just says complexion foundation. I'm in light olive, so I'm going to go into that and just start putting it on. I have moisturized with my regular moisturizer. And for under $50, ooh, that's yellow. Um, for under $50, I was able to get a brush set. And it also came with like a small brush set, like for free. So here's the dual fiber brush set I'm going to be using today. It was really affordable, uh, $12.99. And then I got 25% off of that just for, they had a coupon code. So I think I'm going to go in with the number six and start blending this in. And I purposefully waited to do this. This is actually... The brushes are nice. Um, they're they're duo fiber, dual fiber brushes, and they're not as soft as the e.l.f. ones, but they're nice. I haven't used these before. But um, I had to wait to do this impression till my fake tan was all the way off because I bought the color. Ooh, okay, that just got loose. See that? I was just putting pressure on it and this ferrule is already loose. So, so far, I don't know about the dual fiber brush set. Okay, this foundation, mm, it's covering. It's not like the most coverage. I'm going to go in with a second layer just to put it on the spots that I need more coverage. So how have y'all been? Long time no see. I have been busy um, just working and living life. My son has moved home for the summer from college. He's gone into his junior year, but he's home working for the summer. So, we're not empty nesters right now, so it's taken some getting used to. Um, hmm. I just don't, this, either it's the foundation just rubbing around, sorry y'all, or it's this brush. Either way, I'm not real thrilled. It's very streaky. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll keep trying these brushes. Okay, and then I'm going to go into something that I'm really excited about. I've heard really good things. It's the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer, and I'm in the lightest shade, 102. I believe it's the lightest shade. So it opens like this. It's pretty liquidy, and I've heard really good things about this, so hopefully it'll give us some good coverage. And I'm going to also use this as an eye primer and a face highlight because when you're doing a full face under 50, you got to kind of make some things pull double duty. I may put too much. I'm going to go in with the same brush, even though, let me go in with a little bit. I'm going to go in with brush number eight. This seems to be a little bit denser and maybe that'll blend things out better. I don't know about these brushes, y'all. They're pretty scratchy. They're not blending things out the best. They're the only brushes that I grab from BH Cosmetics. So, huh. Sorry, it keeps going really white. Oh, this is not great. Uh, hopefully we can salvage this look, even though our brushes are kind of... Hmm. Pretty good coverage, I would say. Mm, it's just streaky, and I don't know if that's the foundation or the brushes. I think it's a combination. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go, and I've heard great things about this. This is the BH Studio Pro Powder. People have, I swatched it and put my nail in it. People have compared this to the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I'm just going to go in with that brush number six and set everything. People have said it's a lot like the MAC Skin uh and I think it was eight, seven ninety nine. Yeah, this is a really pretty powder. Hopefully. Sorry about the light turning. I don't know how to stop that. Hmm. Okay, I like the powder a lot. Um, they can, the foundation I don't like. Um, I don't know if it's the brush set or the foundation or a combination of both. And the concealer, I'm just going to have to play around. This did have a lot of kickback, though. I'm going to have to play around with it because I'm just not sure. Okay, I'm going to go into, and I have swatched this. I've actually worn this once. Um, it's a beautiful palette. It's called the Radiant to Bronze Paradise Eye and Cheek Palette. And it was very $11.99 and it has everything you need. So I'm gonna go in, hopefully y'all can see it. Let me get it, yeah, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer and with the number six brush and go in and start bronzing. And I have tried this palette before, and this brush is y'all. Let me go in with the brush number six. Okay, that's better. Um, I really like everything about this palette. It is like, I think I've used it twice. I thought I hadn't even swatched anything, but I got impatient, wait, no, my, um, tan to fade so I could use the lighter foundation and I went in and used it and it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. Why does it keep uh, switching colors on me? That's pretty. Okay, and for blush, I got the bombshell blush because there's not a blush in this palette, and this is really pretty. It's kind of light and glowy, but I like it. I'm gonna just use, ooh, it's really powdery. Mm. I think the brushes are throwing me off. That's pretty, okay. Now, I'm gonna go in with this. I do not recommend these brushes, y'all, unfortunately. With this little, it's barely even picking anything up. I wanna show y'all this highlight, though. Hopefully, it'll show up. It's really pretty. I'm doing this quick because we have a storm coming. And I'm just I'm trying to, ooh, I need to blend that out. That's pretty. It's pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the palette. I'm going to take this middle um, brown color. And I'm just going to keep on with these brushes. I don't really have a choice. I'm going to go in with brush number four and go into this neutral brown color. And just use that in my crease. Yeah, y'all, these brushes, no. I don't even think they're good in a pinch. They're too, mm, they're just not well made. They're not lending product properly. They feel scratchy. Not impressed. Okay. Um, then I think I'm going to go into this color right here. It's a really pretty kind of gold color, not kind of, it's gold. And I'm gonna put that on my lid. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know that I've ever used this color. It's pretty. And see how my, mm. let me turn the light down and it won't look so. It's just not blending at all. This, I mean, and I don't think it's the products because I do like BH Cosmetics powder products and I have used that um, bronzer before with my 
actual brushes and it looked so much better than this. Like this is looking mm, not great. But the show must go on and then I'm gonna take this little tiny brush and go into this color and do it right here as a pop on my brow bone. That's really all I'm gonna do for my eyes. Just cause I'm already not liking the way the rest of this looks. I love this palette though, this bronze paradise palette. It's really pretty. Okay, and then what I've been doing, well I've done it twice and I love it, is doing this little pop of blue on my bottom lash line, y'all. It is so pretty. And I even put it like into my waterline and they're like creamy so they stay it's really i love this palette it's not looking that great on my skin and i think it's a combination of the foundation and the um brushes but this is really pretty and it's creamy so i kind of just put it in there and then i like to go back in and take this rusty color and there is fallout on this palette, but y'all, for $12, you can't beat it. And kind of put it up here. Just to kind of tie it all in. These brushes are horrific. It almost makes me want to do this over with, with better brushes. Child. We're getting there, but anyway, this palette and this powder so far, A++. I'm gonna try the concealer over better foundation because I've heard great things about it. The foundation, no. The brush set, no. And I'll list everything down below so y'all know what to, the blush, it's all right. It's really powdery. There's not much payoff. It's kind of highlighty. It's not really, it's blotchy, but I think it's the brushes again, I'm gonna, attribute it to that um okay and now i'm going to go into the flawless brow pencil and do my brows and i'm in the color brunette and this looks it's waxy but not too waxy not too stiff um just first impression It's pretty. It's not too warm toned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. It has, it's stiff enough where it's not gonna go anywhere. You know? I like that and that was a first impression I've never used that before so this goes in the we'll try again pal can you put the lid on it okay and now where's my mascara I had a mascara okay and I know um, BH cosmetic makes a lot of different mascaras and this is just the fierce volume and I probably picked it because it was on the cheaper side, just because I was trying to stay under 50 for the full face. But look how big this brush is, y'all. So I don't know. I don't typically like huge brushes. But we shall see. So let's go in and see. And it has this ball. It says to, um, the directions say do it like on the flat side and then spike it up with the end and the... So I'm gonna try to follow the directions. It's really hard though, cause my lashes are so puny that a brush this big, it is really hard to get in there. But it is giving me some color and some volume. I'm not seeing anything on the length, but then it's like, bring this through. That's pretty. I mean, I'm working with really puny lashes, so. I don't know what to expect. Not much, huh? It's all right, I mean. Yeah, 
It's certainly not the best mascara I've ever used. But let's see how much it was. That brow pencil was $3.99. Um, $3.99. This mascara was $3.99. It's there goes my lip color. It's good for under $4. You can see it's giving me plenty of volume and it's making my lashes really black. But it's not, you know, outstanding. But that is a lot of volume because I have really puny lashes. Hmm. I mean, that's a lot of volume, y'all. Second coat in. I like it. I will say that the brush is too big and it's a really, really wet formula. So I have a feeling it's going to take a while to draw. Um, so it just depends on what you like. But it's not a horrible mascara. I think that might go in the air pile. Like, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Because it is giving me some definite color and definite volume. Hmm. And I think once this dries out a bit, it will be so much better. Hold on, let me get my... <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we are on to the last thing. This is the Forever Aqua Glass Hydrating Lip Gloss in the color Scone. It's just a real pretty nude. Mm, smells like chocolate cupcakes. And this is not a liquid. It's not a liquid lipstick, it's just a lip gloss. Mm, it's not too sticky. I'm kind of on the fence with that. So let me tell you the nose. The, this brush set, which is all out now, and I'll list it down below, their dual fiber brush set is a hell no. It's not even worth the $12. The foundation was very streaky. It didn't cover much. I think this combined with the brush set is the reason a lot of my stuff is not blending out well um, because I have used that palette before and it's been flawless. So those two are no's. Kind of in the uh, category, it's nothing special. It's the lip gloss and the mascara, although the mascara did give me plenty of volume. It is still wet though. So that is something, if you don't like really wet mascaras, you're not gonna like that. Um, the blush is also in the air category. It's $2.99. It's all right. The four products that I really did like, I do like the brow pencil. Um, it is just waxy enough and just creamy enough. Sorry, y'all. Storm's coming. And I like the spoolie, and it was like $3.99. I loved the powder. Um, it's a very finely milled powder, and it gave me some extra coverage, which I needed because my face was so splotchy from the foundation. Um, this is also a try again. I've heard great things about it. It seemed to have good coverage, but then again, it was streaky, and I think it was because of the foundation and the brushes. And then this bronze paradise palette is gorgeous, y'all. And if you want me to, I can do a whole thing just on it. But um, I'm going to put on a little bit more highlighter. I'm going to use this actually. Use this. And look at this fan brush. It's just, these brushes are horrible. Horrible. Like, I'm going to wash them and uh, sanitize them and then donate them because we have, like, a women back-to-work program at a women's shelter here. And, I mean, these brushes are better than nothing, but compared to my other brushes, I'm going to go with a big no on that. Okay, so that is the full face. Um, so that's kind of my rundown on it. Um, let me know what y'all think, and I'll tr post everything in the down box so you can know where to get it. I'm telling y'all, it's filthy right now, but this Bronze Paradise Palette is absolutely stunning. And you can do your full full face, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this is like the star of the show. See the pigmentation? It's gorgeous, y'all. $12.99 for a full face palette. Um, okay, well, it was good seeing y'all again. I'll be back later with a life update and let y'all know what I've been up to. I'm gonna go before we lose power. You can hear the storm rolling in, and I hope to see y'all really soon. Have a good day. Bye.